For the past three weeks, we've been trying to bring you the very best of our wildlife from every corner of the UK. And whilst it's really important for us to make sure that you get to see that wildlife, it's equally important that we absolutely minimise our carbon footprint. We're certainly not perfect, but we've been trying hard. And here are some of the things that we've been doing. We've had loads of plant-based food options. I'm a producer and I'm part of the production crew for Spring Watch. We use this bike here in Scotland to help offset carbon and I'm travelling from my accommodation which is here to the office which is one and a half miles away. It's great fun, it's a great way to get around and it keeps me fit on production too. As well as pedal power and watching what we eat, we've also been keen to get involved in local cleanups. So before Springwatch went to air, some of the team went out and about in Bristol. Today we've been doing part of a litter pit to have a cleaner and nicer community. But the big transition is how we use energy. And we really are blazing a trail when it comes to this area. Outside broadcasts are power hungry things, and our Spring Watch uses the same power as around 20 tumbledwires running simultaneously. Historically, the TV industry has relied heavily on diesel generators. Here on the watches, we've been looking at ways to change that. So when we found out hydrogen was an option for powering our outside broadcasts, we were really excited. Behind me is our HPU1, um, and we're providing clean, renewable energy for the BBC Spring Watch. So for every kilo of hydrogen gas that we use, that saves six litres of diesel. As the technology matures, anywhere that you can run a diesel generator, this is a direct replacement for it. So our hope is that others will follow in our green footsteps so that all together we can make a much better job of protecting our planet. Our planet now.